Hi guys, welcome to a solo hunt, a run of this week's Prestige Nightfall, which is the Inverted Spire. I'm going to be running with Maida, Solar Mananin, Solar T Tarantula, and because I'm running Gunslinger on the Hunter, I've got Celestial Nighthawk on, and my modifiers are Heavyweight, Solar Singe, and Momentum. The reason I'm running with these weapons, as most of you all know, we had an update today, and the apps down so I just couldn't be bothered going and put my weapons the weapons I really wanted to use which actually worked out quite well because these weapons were quite good so we're just going to skip right right to the next area because we've jumped in we've jumped into this strike and basically a team's already cleared this area so it happens sometimes that you can come in and get a clear run right to the first encounter now I'll make you guys aware there's another I've, I've done my tank run I'll get the wallop run done maybe tonight maybe tomorrow but I've got another video coming out as well, and it's an easy farm for catalysts. It's really easy. It's a really easy strategy for farming your exotic catalyst uh, kills. And you get to see some of the exotic catalysts that I've actually got. Some of them, I believe, are quite rare. Uh, so I'll, I'll, I'll get that video up. Hopefully, it'll be up Thursday. I've nearly finished it, so it's all good. So once we get here, we're going to take these four enemies out, and then there's, a, there's an exploding box down on the ground floor uh we're going to take that and in this in this run that because it's solar the exploding box takes quite a bit of the quite a few of the enemies now you have to be careful here because the vex all do solar you know so when it's when it's a he heavy vex area then you really have to be careful uh as you can see that explosive box just kind of cleared those ads out once we get most of them gone we're going to go down and the tarantula, I'll say a few things about the tarantula while we're doing this. The tarantula is like the poor man's equivalent of the sleeper simulant. I think it's got more range. It's it's It has characteristics of a sniper, which is very good for a linear fusion rifle, like a heavy fusion rifle. It also has 14 rounds in reserve, 4 in the magazine. Very, very good. Uh, so you should consider using it, and as you'll see, it it does actually do a lot of damage, and even to the bosses, even when it's uh, you know, I know it's heavyweight, but even when you're you're going up against a different elemental shield, so if you're going up against an arc shield, I know it's heavyweight, so it should do a lot, but it's just just gives you the the idea of how powerful it is. It just takes a more cultured hand. The sleeper I find is. You know, it is, it's a pretty easy thing to use. You know, it's, it, it doesn't, you don't have to be super precise with it. But the, the tarantula kind of lends itself more to a cultured hand, more of a accurate hand. But you should try it. It's got, I, I, think, I think it actually might have a faster charge rate. But off the top of my head, I've, it's been a while since he used the sleeper. So uh, I can't actually, I can't actually remember. So once we've cleared this area, we're just going to make it through to the next area. Uh, go to the right hand side and take out the two cabal so in this next area the only the only things i really do take out is the sniper on the right sometimes i take the sniper far left i, I don't think i bother in this run so i take the sniper on the right uh i take the the the, the kind of big kind of cabal is it centurion the, the arc shielded with the <laughs> the annoying one that fires the tracking rockets i take him and then just the two cabal ultras and then we get jump in the thing over the tip you jump in the <clears throat> the thing the teleporter so if anybody was wondering at the start that was actually the tilt fuse uh exotic spiral from the arms dealer now i'm going to be it's something i want to speak about and i will do it in, in a video 100 percent this week it'll probably be i'm going to try and get a high score tutorial up because I believe I might have found a bit of a key on increasing the drop rates for a strike specific loot. So keep an eye out for that. That's, that's another one. That one I don't have a specific time on. The the Exotic Catalyst one will be Thursday. So as you can see, we take take, take him out. Now, th this Cabal guy in here, he can be a little bit annoying. The Centurion, piece of cake. Just get that crit on him and he's cool. But because... The guy in here is surrounded. You can sometimes end up accidentally shooting his uh, teammates, his, his little minions. But as you can see, if you can get that crit shot, the tarantula, you know, it doesn't really mess about. 
So if we take him, we're going to take this guy down here. Now, now the tarantula will do it from here, you know, because it has it's got it's got fantastic range. It will do it from here, you know, as you can see. So now we're clear. We're going to pick up this heavy ammo straight into the teleporter. Remember, when you get onto the teleporter, whether it's arc or not, whether it's solar, sorry, whether it's arc, whether it's void, it doesn't really matter. There is an exploding barrel on the left hand side that I always go for. It won't take the Vex, but it'll always take all the Cabal. Now I think, uh, there you go. He puts his shield up. That is a first. So what, if he does that, just concentrate on the Vex. Leave the Cabal. Just concentrate on the Vex because he will then drop his shield. And then, boom, all the Cabal are gone. Again, in this area, there's a couple of yellow bars. If you feel like taking them down, if you feel confident enough to take them down to get the heavy ammo, be my guest. I think I take, I think I took one of them down. But remember, it's you know, if you're doing the run I'm doing, it's solar burn. They all do solar. All the vex do solar. So don't attack them close range. You know, if if you've got full heavy, you know, there's nothing against. There's nothing stopping you from just keep running, keep your momentum propped. Because you're basically just waiting here. We've activated the, the the we've activated the switch. We are just waiting for that to go to a hundred percent. Anything else is just you know it's up to you. As you can see, I'm taking him. I want I want to make sure I go in with as many heavy ammo. We know that there's a yellow bar harpy at the end. What I found during during the runs I done now, I've done the Titan. Ha, you know, I've done already done the Titan. This was my first run in the Hunter. I never normally do solo because the snipers at the drills can really, really hurt you. I never got shot once. So I don't know if that's changed or I don't know what's happened with it. But the snipers never seem to be a problem. As soon as you land, get your, get your ghost out and get on your sparrow. And just make sure you get a straight line here. And as you boost across here, break. And then just charge to the right or the left just before you land and it takes all the weight off your fall so you won't suffer any fall damage if you just land you'll bounce and maybe it's not the first time I've, my sparrows bounced right off the edge of a platform so make sure you get that right shoulder action or right 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 shoulder left shoulder or you can just click in the sticks just make sure you get that side boost before you land so now we're at the boss, really, really fast, pretty efficient run. There are three harpies here, one's a yellow bar. So I always, I normally try and take the yellow bar out first. So I, and the reason I do that, the orange bar, sorry, the reason I do that is so that I can, I can make sure that he dropped heavy and it never went off the side, you know. So what we're going to do, I've, I've stuck a grenade at the back. Normally that goes off, but it didn't this time. So, I don't know if you'll, you'll recognize what I'm doing. I'm just trying to hit as many things as I can because I do not have a lot of energy with ammo left. And like I say, because the app was down, I just done this with the weapons I had on me. It worked out really well. We're, we're proc for momentum. And now we've got full, full kind of fusion rifle ammo. One, two, three, four. Get the dodge reload in. And there you go. He's immune. We'll go up here and pick up with heavy ammo. And when we get down here, you're aiming for... Now, I think I got the wrong one here. It's the one just to the right of this. Yep, it's the smaller one because you can kind of crouch on while you're on there. Back away a little bit and you can still hit his head. And there we are. He's immune. So when we get down here, as you can see, I haven't used my super. We'll keep him my super. So when we get down here, we'll take out the the goblins that are, that are here. I think there's five waiting for us at the bottom here. Then we're going to start hitting them with with the uh, with the tarantula because we've got tarantula shots. Okay, so we we can kind of waste not waste, but we can use tarantula. And what we we'll want to do is we we'll want to get him into his charging phase, where he charges you. So we've got more heavy ammo here. I, I'm going to try and get momentum procced. And just be, be aware of that, his blinding shot, his big shot. And the thing about the tarantula is it's quite good for hitting him when he's on the run. 
So now he's he's gone like he's he's gone like that, headless. And there we go. Very simple finish. You just want to keep your super until he charges, and then one crit, and he's gone. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. You guys know I love making these videos. A like would be super appreciated. It, it does a, a world of good for the the kind of messed up YouTube algorithm. Uh, any questions, leave me a comment. Be sure to look out for the, the videos coming up. And I will see you guys in one of those videos.